Hey guys, it's Tiffany from Hess Mountain Homeschool and today I'm going to show you a curriculum review of my preschooler. Now, my preschooler is four now but will be turning five in September so she's like at the later, she would have been one of the older ones in the, uh, in the school grade if she went to public school. So I'm going to show you kind of what we've worked on with what we're working on because it's kind of a mixture. So we have a lot to look at. So first off, we started her little adventure with the letters and sounds from Rebecca for threes. And, and this we've been working on all year. Um, last year, if she was into it, I didn't make her unless she wanted to, but she seemed to enjoy it. And it has really cute stuff. So you make your own little I'll just pull out K for instance. It's going to show you what the letter looks like, how to write it, and um, all the things that start with that sound. Now, she, like I said, is four. She knows most of her letters. Abeka's really like start right off with figuring out the letters, what they are, identifying them, and even doing the sounds. So she knows most of the letters and most of the sounds for the letters so far. Excuse me. So, we have that. Last year's main worksheet source was from the K4 Phonics and Numbers. And I'm showing you this because we'll, we'll continue it this year. Um, she did basically all the um, circle, the picture that starts with this sound, with this letter. And now it gets a little more in-depth in the end in which you're doing the, they do a lot with blends. And so it's a little more in depth when you get closer towards the end, which is what we're going to start her preschool year with. And that's the blends of, you know, does the cub start with CA or CU? And that's just, like I said, a little bit more in depth. And so we're kind of doing that to finish off, but it's going to be mixed with the actual kindergarten curriculum because she's kind of over most of the preschool stuff. Um, and this is just a writing tablet that comes if you get the, um, the preschool, uh, manuscript one. And that's literally just like you see with everything. It's just, I did unabridged and put it in binders, but you can get them in their own books. And that's just how to write your letters. Um, the correct form. Now, what I'm going to move on to is the kindergarten because that's kind of our new set and what we're actually starting with this year. Um, we will still be using pieces from that, but it really leads into what's coming up in K-5. So even though she's in preschool, she's kind of a mixture and I've done it with all three of my kids. They kind of just do well with it that way. And if it's too much for them, we can draw back. It's no big deal. That's the beauty of homeschooling. So, um, we have letters and sounds K-5. And Abeka has the most beautiful, I love their worksheets. They're always pretty. They're just, they're pretty and they do the um, spiral learning. So they're going from exactly from the points that they learned yesterday or <laughs> yesterday, last year. And they're building on it every year, every month, every, every time you move forward in the book, you're just building on what you had already seen. And I love that. So this is the letters and sound and it seems to be the most important with all my kids this was the most important book like they learned so much they learned to read from it everything about it just it was good I loved it with both boys and I'm assuming I'll love it with her too and then we have think and learn k5 and this is just kind of a reasoning like um kind of a I don't want to call it common sense I'm not sure what you would really call it but it gives you like everyday learning skills you know how to cut um healthy breakfast lunch and dinner you know just things like that um and and also they go with they go with the seasons if you do a natural um how public school kind of starts in september august it kind of follows that but if you do year round like we like to do our own schedule, and so if you do year-round, it doesn't match up as much, but you can pull from it still yet. Another very important one would be numbers and skills, 
and that's their arithmetic for k5 for kindergarten and it's really cute too it's always very colorful they already show them time and money and they build just so slow on it that it gets to be just comfortable for them and i think that is fantastic to start now because instead of you know getting in third grade and being like by the way so and like i said it's very colorful it's really fun for a kid it's stimulating i don't some people have said it may be too over stimulating but i don't think so it hasn't been for mine so far so that's the arithmetic um writing with fawn i've got two here writing with phonics um k5 and that's just the average you know how to write letters and this is once again this is all abeka and they use this house let me see if i can make it focus they use this house and they teach you letters that live downstairs upstairs and in the basement and i think that is the cutest way for them to remember where everything belongs on the um on the actual page which is i think that's adorable i think it's really good for them so then it comes with and these are so exciting um preschool came with readers too and so the preschool because this is technically preschool these readers and these all build up okay so um let me find one so you can see there's 12 books in each of them of the preschool and if i can find and i've i got extra i think okay little book one for instance and this is when they're learning their sounds and and every my daughter specifically wants to be able to read because her brothers can so she wants to be able to read a book too and this is fantastic for that so you can do the sound and the the animal or the picture that has that sound in its name so and that's just the very beginning that's how they start out um and then they go all the way to and this is preschool still but they start like the blends when they get towards the end um and then and that's that's just the preschool readers that come with it then you got some words some putting some letters together which is pretty fun and that's all k4 now the k5 which is what i grabbed first and even in the end of k4 they're teaching the one vowel two vowel rule um honestly i don't think any of mine made it to the one vowel two vowel rule in preschool i just by the time that they were getting little letters we were done for the you know for our break and then we started next with kindergarten so um the k5 ones are a lot more a lot more in depth than those little ones still not huge but definitely more to read as you can see and these and they even have the little i read it this many times a week which we never follow <laughs> we just make sure they're reading they usually they'll read a book a day no matter what so and it's fun because they have little stories and then they go up to like just little the way to use certain sounds and what they call special sounds and and they're all really cute that every everything that i get from rebecca just seems to be adorable you also get and these are my favorite thing ever giant flashcards. we like to line them up and see if she can put them in order that's upside down in order from a to z which is a fun game and you get numbers as well and then it has pictures on the back like a jug starts with j and it's just a cute little thing and they feel like they're playing when they do that which helps me out a lot um let me see what else is in her little this is another this is another set that i i may have got separate it says k4 so it may be the more the further k4 just so i have more readers i like readers if you can't tell and there are other flash cards that are super handy dandy if i can see where i've stowed them here oh they're still in the note that's why and then you get these and these are mini flash cards and i laminate them because i'm an addiction to the laminator but they have the hard sounds and the soft sounds so acorn and apple etc and these are really fun because it's fun to go quick and see what they know and try to get them you know a little bit excited um 
and also we you can get art with it and i'm thinking her art book may not be in her drawers also we got these and these are separate these are something you can decide to buy or not buy and these are character build stories and they're super cute and they obviously have like um they'll always have a verse from the bible and it'll tie in to the bible as well she does bible with her brothers so it's a little more advanced but it works and then she also does science and social studies with her brothers when she feels like sitting down to it um, she hasn't technically had to do school up until this year, so she didn't have to sit with it. These are fantastic. They're a bigger version of what you saw earlier, but on the back it has a plethora of information about what you're learning about, and then it has all the things that start with that letter, which, are, which I think that we got these separate as well. Um, now you do get, if you get the full kit, you get parent guides to all of it. I had already had the parent guides, and honestly, I don't have them out right now. Um, but with preschool and kindergarten, they're pretty self-explanatory. Basically, after that, though, I like to have those <laughs> because I, I like to know what they're asking for, for us to know by what point in the year-ish, even though, like I said, we kind of follow our own schedule. Okay, I went on a search for her art book. Um, I always suggest getting the abridged because I did unabridged and I had to make a ton of binders and it was just not as easy as having them but the art books are super cute like these would be finger puppets and you put them on little um instead of finger puppets they're on popsicle sticks it always tells you ahead of time what you need it even gives the date of the year that you can do it and they go with every theme like all the stuff the one big thing when I homeschooled, well, one of the big things was that we wouldn't get the like crafts brought home. I was like, I want the cute little things that they make and they bring home. And that's what their art book consists of. So I love it. And they have every theme. They have all of the, um, all of the holidays and just fun, just fun stuff that kids like to do. So I think that's basically it for her this upcoming year because like I said, we're mixing her preschool with some kindergarten on account of she is, has done preschool for the last year at, when she felt like it was she likes doing school more than the boys, which is hilarious. Um, I'm trying to think of anything that I missed, but I think that we've actually covered everything and hopefully in a not too long amount of time. Um, I'm going to do a, let's see, second grade curriculum review, also a Becca. And then I've also got a fourth grade curriculum review coming up. I just figured it would last for years if I did <laughs> um, all of them together because they all have quite a bit of stuff. And that's one thing about a Becca that I love. I love all the stuff. They come with a ton of resources and just a ton of stuff that you can use along the way and there's a lot of online stuff along with we also do YouTube videos and that's um with preschool especially in kindergarten we do um like the days of the week books of the bible um just the fun stuff that kids like learn at some point but aren't necessarily put intertwined you know I'm sure that if I read every single page that it, one of these, there is a day that I'm supposed to be teaching that, but I don't do it by the book. Exactly. I did the first year and it went fantastic. It's just, I think everyone gets their own groove and it's easier to go after you get a few years in. You're kind of like, I know what I want and what we're doing and what works and what doesn't. So anyway, I think that's all for today. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and tell me what you want more. I, I want to do what you guys want to see. So if you could let me know in the comments, that would be fantastic. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!